It's not that we were engaged you know, in this movement as uh, very good people, no. We were in death and Jesus Christ came through this way inside of the Catholic Church and saved my family. We had the, a living experience of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who died for us and rise again for us. It became personal. Uh, exactly. God is bringing more and more Catholic believers into a deeper relationship with him and leading them to embrace the Jewish people. took a trip all the way up north to the Sea of Galilee to meet with Father Francesco. Look at this view. Yes, this is beautiful. He is the director of the Domus Galilei Seminary that initiates Catholic clergy into something called the Neocoticum in Alway, or just the way to keep things simple. This is an international center, a monastery, serving all the pilgrims coming from all over the world, especially from our way of faith that we call Neocoticum in Alway. It's a way of faith to rediscover the richness of our baptism in the Catholic Church, to rediscover all the richness of their faith. This way born by two Spanish people, Kiko Arguello and Carmen Hernandez, in order to bring the Vatican Council II to all the parishes. So the Vatican Council II was a positive revolution because the church uh, tried to look for her identity. So rediscovering the roots of our faith, they rediscovered also the Jewish roots. Uh, people think about Vatican II, from my perspective being a Jew in Israel, it's this pivotal moment in the history of Christianity, specifically Catholicism, where they retract the previous statements about the Jewish people and say, where we were wrong, we want to restore the relationship with the Jewish people, and the calling of the Jewish people is irrevocable. That's the, the words they use, right? Yes. The more I spoke with Francesco, the more I understood just how impactful the way has been, both within and outside the Catholic Church. A crowd of pilgrims or communities come here, Christians from different confessions, and also it's amazing that a lot of Jews religious and not religious. It's amazing because they want to listen about us, also singing in Hebrew, proclaiming the word of God, the Tanakh, kind of, let us say, of communion, of uh, an atmosphere of uh, love and friendship. And at the same time, also a lot of Arabs, so it's, it's an open house to, to all the people who want to come and to, to go deep in the holy places. I'd be interested in hearing what the experience of someone such as yourself, what does it feel like and look like on a daily basis? Yeah, first of all, for me, this way of faith was an instrument of salvation for my family because uh, it's not that we were engaged you know, in this movement as uh, very good people, no. We were in death and Jesus Christ came through this way inside of the Catholic Church and saved my family. We had a living experience of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who died for us and rise again for us. It became personal. Uh, exactly. God is bringing more and more Catholic believers into a deeper relationship with him and leading them to embrace the Jewish people. As Francesco showed me around the facility, I quickly realized that their theology and ideology are incorporated into everything you see. The spirit of this house is that all the people coming here feel this kind of love through beauty, because beauty is a sign of love. This is quite a scene. According to the renewal of the Vatican Council II, to promote a Latin actuosa participazione. This is our library, and the idea of the library is, of, first of all, the stars and the universe. And uh, at the center of the universe, there is the Torah. Uh, just to explain, this is the same Bible that every Jewish synagogue around the world would have. Yes. This is a sculpture of Jesus teaching the Sermon on the Mount to, to the 12 apostles. Beautiful. Not a bad location. <laughs> Listen, Israel. The Lord is our God. It was especially moving to hear Francesco and a group of young priests sing their own rendition of Shema Yisrael, one of the central prayers in Judaism, Hear, O Israel. Israel. It became this interesting position of people and faith where you, you can be a bridge between cultures and religions. 
we tell to the people, come and see. Come and see, as in the gospel. Because it's a kind of experience, a so deep experience, a living experience of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us as we provide a spiritual insight of what God is doing in Israel and in the Middle East. If you want to learn more about what God is doing in Israel, make sure to visit us on our webpage and follow us on social media. Shalom and God bless you for Jerusalem.